Hello, my name is Darren Shanker, and I want to discuss with you MedPay coverage. So medical payment coverage or MedPay coverage, it's important uh, to look at your auto policy and determine uh, what, if any, level of MedPay coverage you have. Medical payment coverage is actually a type of insurance coverage that my law partner Kyle Backus and I were instrumental uh, in getting passed in 2008 uh, legislation uh, that effectuated this coverage. Uh, since that time, every auto insurance carrier in Colorado must offer you, their insured, mandatory medical payment coverage. They must make you that offer. What is medical payment coverage and how does it work? Um, first of all, you need to determine whether or not you have it. As I said, uh, medical payment coverage is coverage that um, is to pay for your own medical expenses if you're involved in an auto accident, regardless of whether it's your fault or not. Um, the medical payment coverage that you have um, has to be offered to you in a minimum amount of $5,000. So if you have it, uh, you will have $5,000 with the MedPay coverage. Um, it then goes up by increments. I've seen it as high in some unique, strange circumstances, uh, as high as $100,000. Uh, so it could be a situation uh, where you have some amount of that medical payment coverage. Um, what is the best way to utilize medical payment coverage? Well, one of the things to be uh, determining is whether or not you have health insurance as well. Ultimately, what we want to accomplish is to have the medical payment coverage fit in as nicely as possible with your health insurance coverage. Uh, so that at the end of the case, um, minimal amounts are required to be paid back. Um, medical payment coverage was initially intended uh, to plug the gap uh, first of all, for first responders, for ambulance, emergency personnel, um, as well as for emergency hospitals that otherwise may not be getting coverage uh, but are mandated or required to provide assistance to victims in automobile accidents. So that was the first intent of MedPay coverage and is written into the statute as such. Uh, beyond that, ideally what uh, we want to do is utilize your MedPay coverage, if any still uh, survives and exists, after ambulance emergency room uh, care um, to try to plug the gaps for your, uh, if you have health insurance, for your um, co-payments or deductibles. Um, so that's the way ideally we want to try to structure the MedPay coverage and utilization of it. An important thing to remember um, and one an aspect that when we drafted this legislation and lobbied it uh, that we inserted into the language is that med pay coverage is not subrogatable. Now what does that mean? <clears throat> Plain and simple, um, with most kinds of insurance and health insurance that pay for your medical expenses, at the end of the case when case resolution occurs, there's a requirement to pay some part of that health insurance back. However, uh, with medical payment coverage, there is no requirement uh, to pay your own auto insurance carrier med pay back um, at the end of the case. And so that's an important benefit that exists as part of your medical payment package. If you have additional questions about med pay coverage or any other aspect of your insurance uh, or your car crash or personal injury claim, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.